Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on with another project share um, using a kit from Elsie Bell's bookshelf called Mushroom Magic. Now, I debated back and forth um, which journal I wanted to use for my... Um, my design team project um, and as you saw in the previous video I ended up choosing the blue poppy one which I called happiness um, but this was definitely a runner-up because both kits were just gorgeous so if you aren't familiar with um, her Ellie's Etsy she offers digital kits but for all her digital kits she also offers a print and ship version so, meaning if you do not have a printer or you can't print digitals for some reason, you can still buy it, she'll print it for you, and ship it. It's that easy. So easy. So, there is no reason why you can't make your own journal as well. So, getting into this. Um, as I was saying, I used the Mushroom Magic Kit. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it because of the colors in it. It's like kind of grungy vintage meets like watercolors. You'll see when we go through it, but it's just to die for. So let me just take off the um, tie. What I did was, hold on, let me see if I can open it. I used one of the pages as the cover. Now, how gorgeous is this? It's just like, <coughs> excuse me, super, super pretty. So the journal... I'm just looking at my note over there. The journal measures five by seven and three fourths. And in here, there is um, 184 pages, not 184, there's 84 pages front and back. <laughs> 184 would be a little bit bigger. So, um, going in, I used uh, a page for the outside cover, but a page for the inside cover as well. And I chose this one because it has the lines, and I like, um, almost kind of like you can make your own table of contents using these lines. So that's why a lot of times you'll see in the inside covers, if it's not decorated, um, I like to use the pages with lines to put there. So look at this kit. I mean, this is the same image, but it's just... I liked it so much, I used it for the cover and for the first page, because it's just, just beautiful. Grungy, beautiful. And the backs, I don't know if you can see it, it's very light, it's coffee dyed, um, it's a digital, but it's like coffee dyed line paper that I used. So here, um, I cut out a piece of uh, the table runner that I had, and then um, just added a vintage button there. And it does flip up, so you can do some secret journaling on the inside. Here we have, this is um, an ephemera piece from her. It's not part of this actual kit, but it's one of her um, ephemera, digital ephemera kits. So, I, I just like it because you can use it to write notes on the back. You can even write notes on the front. Now, these two tags are from the kit, the two mushroom tags. And all the tags are blank on the back, so you can journal on them. Um, and this was not part of the kit, but she had a, she oh, she has um, an ephemera kit that's just mushrooms. So, But, I mean, since this is mushroom-based, I felt like this was the, it was good to match it up. And then I have some really pretty pastel papers in here that I actually got from my friend Delicia. But because of the colors, I just felt like it went really well with the, um, like the color theme throughout. So you'll see a few of the color pages. And uh, here we have another, this is a vintage um, index card. What I did was I folded it in half, rounded the corners, and then I attach just the one side down so you can do some secret journaling if you want on the inside. Or it doesn't have to be secret, just some journaling on the inside. And on the outside, I just layered some vintage music paper, some crocheted lace, and then some of this trim that I got from the estate sale. And then here we just have some little pieces to write on. Another gorgeous page. Look at that. The mushrooms are like magical looking. 
and I love the grungy vintage backgrounds like that's my favorite thing ever <laughs> And here we have another bag. Um, these bags I get from Bonnie and Clive. I attached um, a piece of a big doily. Not, not a big doily, but it was like a big, almost looks like a tablecloth, but it had, you know, all these, and I cut this from the bigger section. And then in this pocket, I have a, um, oops, sorry. I have um, a coffee dyed index card. Um, some vintage rent receipts, and um, I have this that I got at the flea market a couple weekends ago, but I just thought it all sort of went with the theme here. And of course you can tuck other stuff in the bag as well. Here's another page from um, Alicia. And then, look at this cute little envelope that I made. <laughs> so this is a little handmade envelope. It has its own stamp right there. And then, I can't remember what I put in this envelope. Let's just see. And I know that all the envelopes in here have the same things on it. So it will have a vintage playing card. It will have a piece of um, extra journaling. And then a ticket. That way we don't have to open every single one of them because it's basically the same inside. And then also this is from one of her other um, ephemera kits. And then how did I have this? I attached it like this. But I love this size envelope. It's just so cute. So, so cute. And then here what I did, um, since it's hard to journal on something like this, I put an index card here, one of the vintage index cards, and um, that way you can write on it. Look at this image. You see the little grasshopper there? Let me hold it up a little. Isn't that just the cutest? Oh my gosh. And then here's one of those journaling cards from her kit. No, I'm sorry, not from this kit, from her ephemera kit. And I... Um, or is it from this kit? You know what? I might be wrong. I'm sorry, I actually don't remember. Because I think I have bought a lot of her kits because they're just awesome. And I mix and match them all the time that sometimes I forget what actually comes with the kit. And then what was one of the ephemera kits that I bought. Either way, it's from her shop, so if you are interested in anything like that, everything I use is from her shop. And then here is one of the tags. And then here we have a, um, look at that vintage playing card with the princess on the, I thought it was a unicorn, but it's not, I don't think. I think it's just a regular horse. And then here is a um, genius level, uh, trivial Trivial Pursuit card, and I believe that came from Alicia. And then those just go back in there. And some more paper from her, too. And here I made another envelope, but this time I glued this side, this side, and this side. Um, and inside, here's the knight that matches the princess. Some journaling paper, and then some more a little mushroom card and that goes in there I ran some trim and then added a vintage button here and the top is open and I have these two and these two are from her shop but they're not from this kit but as I said I have a lot of her I probably like 90% of her um, ephemera kits and I, I like to mix and match her stuff so here I just made a pocket. I have some vintage music paper under it, and then I also ran some trim across there. And this is one of her, um, uh, like, um, vintage ephemera pieces. This I just put back there, a tag, and then these two. And more paper from Alicia. And another one. Actually, I'm, since this is a bigger one, I'm not sure what's in this envelope. Oh, no, it is the same. So we have a card. Oh, we have this. And I can't really remember where I got this from. But perfect place for some journaling on the back. Then we have these two. 
So it's kind of similar to the other one. And then some more, another beautiful image from the kit. Here's the middle, and I used this as the middle because I thought sometimes either I like the pic I like a picture that I didn't want to split up. I wanted to open and you can see it, or I do a blank middle. Well, I mean it's not blank, but it doesn't have um, an actual image on it. It's just the lined coffee dyed paper in the back, so that way you can journal as much as you want in the middle. Oh, look at that! Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. So pretty. Here's another pocket, and again, um, this is just, that's just a card, uh, a tag. This, though, is from the kit, and then this is one of Ellie's um, ephemera pieces. And then here's like a background page, but it has lines on it, so it's perfect for journaling. Another one of the little pockets here, or envelopes, and same kind of cards in the back. Another page from Alicia. And here are two cards in there. Another place for journaling here. See, it's nice because you can journal on it, but you can still enjoy the vintage look of the, um, the music paper, which I really like. And then here we have another bag, and the same thing's actually on the inside the green card, the rent receipts, and then the little butterfly paper. And then I just, I had this little scrap piece. No, I didn't have it. I think um, in one of my Happy Mails from Alicia, she sent me some strips of, um, like, material to so I can make little ruffles. So I made a little ruffle, and I attached it there. Another beautiful page from the kit. And here, again, is one of those little books. Uh, not books, but like a little card you can write in. Another handmade envelope. A little flip up there. And then some also, I mean, these are kind of like the same various. This is different though. This is a Norman Rockwell. It is a Christmas version, but I added it in here because why not? <laughs> and then the last image on the back. And then this is the back cover. Again, plenty of room to journal if you do choose to. So this one here, I think I called this one mushrooms for obvious reasons, but <laughs> it is available in my Etsy if you are interested. I will also leave the link below to um, Ellie's YouTube channel and her Etsy if you are interested in purchasing your own kit to make a beautiful journal. Um, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.